action. Who taught you how to be black? Hollywood, who taught you how to be black? Rap music, who taught you how to be black? Your mama, somebody answer that question. You tell me what blackness is because I want to know. According to Crayola, they didn't already put you in a box and I can go buy you from Walmart. These are facts. I want to understand what it means to be black in America. Because if you're a black American, your mama lives here, your grandmama lived here, your great-grandmama lived here, that goes for your great-grandfathers too. They, they planted the seeds for you to live here in America. They did the work so you could be powerful in America. And then when I ask you a question what it means to be black, you don't give me some type of feeling, some type of thought. I don't want no thoughts and feelings. I want to be powerful, man. That's the only thing that black means to me in America. It means to be effective. We had people who came from slavery and were effective. They made themselves powerful people. Today, what it means to be black is performance art. Everything that you learned about being black came off of a TV screen or from a smartphone or something you heard in some music. You're emulating characters who taught you how to be black. If I ask you about a black father, you're going to say, Uncle Phil. You might say, uh, Carl, Carl Winslow from Family Matters. You might even say Bill Cosby. Heathcliff Huxable taught you how to be a black father in America. These are the things that dictate our lives. They gave us some actors. The actors played a character. And now we are caricatures of ourselves because we're trying to emulate somebody else. And when I talk about being free, man, don't nobody own my brain. Don't nobody control my brain. In modern America, we had three lesbian black women who taught you what it meant to be black. They said black lives matter. And millions of black men ran behind these women because the black woman is God. These are limiting ideas that are preventing us from being powerful in America. And so when you see this logo right here that says the greatest American alive, man, that means to be powerful. That means to be effective. I don't want to hear no more talk about, I'm a good man. I'm a good dad. I'm pro-black. I don't want to hear none of that shit. I want you to be effective and I want you to be powerful. Being good is subjective. What is a good dad? Huh? Do you make your kids brush their teeth twice a day? Huh? Do you make sure they do their homework? Huh? Do you make sure they're presentable? What does it mean to be a good father? Because I only want to be powerful. I want my children to be powerful. I want you to be powerful. If you tell me that Malcolm X gave you your ideas, then he didn't believe in just being black. He believed in Islam. That's where his faith came from. He had a belief system that gave him structure. If you tell me that Martin Luther King showed you how to be black, then he believed in Christianity. He had faith. That was his belief system. He had a backbone of rhetoric that gave him the words to be powerful in America. What is your faith? What is your structure? What do you believe in? And if you said you believe in being black, then what the hell is that? Is it something you learned off of TV or from music? You learn how to be black from performer, and I'm asking you to stop performing. Stop acting. <laughs> stop acting black. <laughs> if you want to be a powerful black person in America, then do something that's effective. Do something powerful. Go create a political organization. Go, in a, go build a company. Go be an effective father. Hell, if you're a black woman in America, you want to be powerful, go stand behind a black man. Don't stand in front of him because you can't fight for him. Can't no black woman in America fight for no black man. Tell the truth and get some power. We got to stop living in this delusional ass world, this upside down world, and we got to be right side up. We need to be right side up. Black men need to stand up. How do black men stand up? By stop acting black. <laughs> black men need to stand up and you got to be powerful. How to be powerful in America? By creating a political organization, by having the conversations that change our position in this great nation. That's being effective. I want to have effective conversations. I'm so sick and tired of having these backwards, upside down conversations that keep black folks in last place. Huh? <laughs> we got immigrants that come to America and outperform us in every category. And we sit there and say, oh, man, how'd they do that? Because they wasn't thinking black. They was thinking power. They was thinking lineage. They was thinking family. Is you thinking family? Is you thinking faith? Is you thinking being effective? Hell no. Nah, what is you thinking? You thinking that because I say the greatest American alive, man, that nigga must be a coon. He must be an industry plant. No, bitch, I'm a free-thinking person who's fighting for other free people, and it's time for you to be a free person. You say, man, is he cursing? Why is he cursing? Because I think freedom of speech is powerful. I don't give a fuck about no YouTube. The algorithm can tell me to shut up. 
but you can take this message and you can share it all across the internet and say, man, there's this black man on the internet that said he's tired of being black. He's ready to be powerful. He's ready to be effective because I'm so sick and tired of motherfuckers performing and code switching because they think that that's the thing to do. Tupac is not the thing to do. Uh, Biggie Smalls is not the thing to do. Nigga, being the best version of yourself is the thing to do. That's how to be powerful and black in America. It's to be effective. It's to be the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.